What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Domino Till Podcast. Huh? Yo. Another guest today. Hello, cool. huh? Everybody give it up. Huh? What, do, what do you want to go as? We can introduce as your real name or your, your brand name. Uh, my Both. My real name, Hedris. <laughs> and the brand is Duet. Yeah, let's stay on brand, baby. Let's go. Let's stay on brand. Let's stay on brand. boys. Thank you for pulling up, bro. Yeah, for sure, bro. Thank you. Yeah, man. I thank you guys for having me. For sure. Yeah, because we, we always hang out like around each other and stuff like that, but we've been looking forward to this interview for a little minute now. So real quick for the people who don't know you that are listening in, who are you? Where are you from? What do you do? So my name is Hedris. I hate saying it because you know, it's like a weird ass name. <laughs> I don't know about that. Unique shit, bro. <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, um, I'm the owner of Durags um, from Miami. I'm from Miami and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Simple guy with a, yeah, what a, yeah, what a yeah, zip yeah. brand. All right, so off the bat, I just want to congratulate you for making that out of Shenandoah. No. <laughs> You're not arrested, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing oh, something, man. yeah. yeah. So you know. You're doing something right, so I want to congratulate you on that. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's a big accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> Would you leave Shannon, though? You have to make it out, apparently. I don't not know. arrested. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make it out. You have to it out. Now, now, now that gives away, like, what side of man You don't have from. a kid. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> or, oh, that we know shit. of, yeah. <laughs> that we know of, yeah. So that, you're already. You beat half the people already. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and you have your own business. So that's like yeah. shit. legitimate business. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing it. <laughs> so, yeah, you're honestly, you're living life. <laughs> literally. Thank you. So give us a, a, a quick um, kind of introduction of what is Do-Rags, how you came up with it, and like where you are right now with it. Or just uh, maybe even just the origin of it. So... Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, it's, it's a story of how, like, I, I came up with the character. Right. So, um, this happened when I was, a uh, well, I've always had a background in, like, knowing how to draw, because I used to do graffiti. Like, in middle school, I started learning how to do graffiti and shit, and then, um, I always liked drawing and shit, and obviously, I was always into clothes and into shoes. Like, I've been into that shit since I was a fucking little kid. So, um... Whatever. The real story of the character, I'm not going to get off topic, was um, in 12th grade. Um, it started in a class where I wouldn't do shit. It was science. And um, the guy that I used to, like, I don't fuck with this guy no more. But um, we used to, like, sit down and, like, he would tell me, oh, draw this person. And then I would draw them, like, holding guns, counting money on some stupid shit. Yeah. yeah. Just to be in class. And then, like, I, like you would doodle people. Yeah, I would yeah. be drawing it. And then I will show it to him. And then since it was a quiet <coughs> class, it was just funny as fuck. And we'll start dying. Um, so from then on, I started going home and then I wanted to draw like a specific type of people. Like, you know how there's people that draw like, uh, fan art, there's people that draw rappers, like right. all that shit. So I wanted to do something that wasn't like, um, as common. So I was like, damn, what if I draw homeless people? Nobody draws homeless people. So then I started, I started going on okay. Google and I started. Were you drawing. banged up when you thought about that? Some regular shit. <laughs> some regular shit. <laughs> nah, it was some regular shit. Um, and then I, I just started drawing them because I could draw realistically too, but I don't like that shit. Yeah. So then, that's where the one tooth came from, because you know, like some homeless people be missing hella yeah, teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where that came from, and even the the gray lips, the ashy lips, that comes from that oh, too. Shit. Holy, yeah. I didn't even realize all that. Right? I know. Yeah. Right? Everything. <laughs> So then, um, whatever, I started an Instagram account, and like, I didn't even know what to name it, so that's kind of where the name comes from, so I asked one of my boys, I'm like, but I kind of want to do, like, an art page, like, just so I could, like, post, like, this man doing shit, and then he's, so he got, he told me the dry, because at first it was dry durags, so the dry is, like, a piece from my name, and then durags is just, like, random as fuck, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna run with that, so then I started the Instagram account, and this was still in 12th grade. I didn't want to be known as an artsy kid, so I was not saying that was me, like, at all. Like, oh, I was okay. not saying that was me. But I'm like, oh, follow this guy. He's lit. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and I peep. Hello, people start following it. And I'm like, yo, that's me, bro. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. so um, at first, like, he didn't even have the little sailor hat. So then I wanted to add something that kind of, like, was sentimental to me. So my pops, he was in the Army. And, um, but he's always been into jewelry too. So he has like three chains that have anchors, like the, the pendants and anchor. So I was like, I made kind of that correlation and that's why he has a sailor hat. So that's where that came from. And 
Literally, bro. Like everything he's saying yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, I'm looking yeah, at. Yeah. I think I didn't look I didn't, into that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't go. All that. <laughs> Wait. So you started off first with jewelry at first, or no? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Drawing, just drawing. Okay. So my 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 pops, he um, cause at first the, the character he 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 didn't have anything on top. Right. He had just like a wiggly hair, like like Homer Simpson type shit. So then um, I was like, damn, I want to add something that like touches home, like you know, sentimental. So that's where, like, my dad, he was in the army, so he always had, like, jewelry, like, kind of relating, gotcha. like, to the army. Like, he had, like, shit with, like, uh, with um, the anchors. The pendants, yeah. Yeah, and that's, like, Navy, but I don't, I don't know what the fuck was correlation. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. I can't, I don't want to add nothing with the anchors, so I added the sailor hat, and that's how he came to, like, the character that he Word. is today. That's Word. crazy, bro. Yeah. So it started with the character. It, it sparked from an yeah. idea of just, like, <clears throat> fucking up, like, or just fucking something up in class. And then I want to draw homeless people, bro. But <laughs> when, you, yeah, I know, when you were in school, that's already thinking different, bro. when you were in school, you had made a page, that IG page, just for like the the drawings, or yeah, yeah, because I was I was drawing him like like doing shit, like like there was some with him talking on the phone. I remember I did like um, but it was still like kind of paving the way for me, like actually becoming a brand, because. I remember I had done like a, I did like a condom with yeah. his face on it. Okay. And then like, but it was like all like a, like a art, like it was like an image yeah. and shit. And I was just doing shit like that. I, I deleted all that shit. I feel like yeah. I've seen, I've seen that what back in high school. Cause well, I don't know if you guys did the same, it, it correlates, but you know, ski mask, obviously ski mask used one of your drawings or uh, somewhat, at some so point. So that's what I was going to get to. So when the art page starts, like, you know, getting this little boom and whatever, there's this guy that, um, we knew from Kendall, his name's Dylan, and then he has a brand too, Aspects. So whatever, he links me up, like I forgot how it happened, but he hit, there's a way that he hits me up and he's like, yo, um, I really fuck with your art. I have this guy that he's coming up and um, I want you to make his uh, cover art. <clears throat> and I'm like, I've never done this shit. I don't even know what the fuck cover art is. And then he's like, no, yeah, just do, um, like, I'll, I'll describe it for you, what to draw, but we really like your character, and just do it with that, da, 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 da. He's like, I'm going to get Ski Mask to call you. And at this or, point, I hadn't even heard, like, Ski Mask or none of that. So whatever. Ski Mask hits me up one day, and then, like, he's, we start talking. He's, t he's telling me what he wants. He says he fucks with everything that I do. And I'm like, all right, bet, I'll do this shit. What? Right. And then um, from there on, like, me and him, I was supposed to do, like, his merch. I was supposed to do a lot of shit, but our relationship kind of, like, fell. Mm -hmm. Or, like, dumb shit. So, like, that never ended up happening. But I even, like, met X, too. Like, I first right. time X, I was supposed to work on something for him as well. Was Kodak, Kodak into that? I think Kodak at one point had posted something. I don't know. I may, I may be... No, no, no. I did a... I did, so, I met this guy that he was a A&R a for Alamo Records. Uh-huh. And he was really fucking with me, so he was getting me to do like uh, flyers for a lot of like people that were signed on the right. animal. So that's how I got. I did a flyer for Chief Keith. Okay, and there he goes. There it was. And Chief. He posted that shit. I was like, "What the fuck? This is like an accomplishment." Like, right. I love yeah, Chief yeah, yeah. Keith. Is this when Chief Keith was like? No, he. Yeah, this was bro. Like this was like two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen. Yeah, he was, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was up. big as yeah, fuck yeah. already, bro. So um yeah he I I did that shit for him. I was actually supposed to do flyer work for Rod Wave. I know he's like really big right yeah. now too. Yeah. yeah. But I ended up passing on it and he ended up becoming <laughs> big as fuck. Like, oh, Wait, fuck. This was back then too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. shit, he just blew up. Yeah. Yeah. Um I did shit for Lil Pump, Ski um what was the guy Smoke Perp. Uh did it, did it all come through the same contact? Um those yeah. Um oh, okay. for Lil Pump and Smoke perp, I actually forgot how the fuck I came along that, but the rest, yeah, through the same call. It was all mostly through phone call, yeah, or like a like a DM or something like that. Yeah, first like yo, we time. fuck with your shit. Yeah. Can you do something for us? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. And then there was like a time like I was like, this is when I was in college because I, I dropped out, <laughs> but uh, I was I wasn't working and all I was doing was cover art because obviously everybody else that that was seeing that I was doing cover art for all these people they're like. Fuck, if we do his cover art, maybe our song gets played. Da, da, da. So I was doing hella shit on SoundCloud. But well, what's crazy is that I didn't have the same, um, fuck, how can I say Approach? This? No, no, no. The same um, equipment, the same, ah. like, shit that I have now. Right. Like, before I would draw it by, like, I draw everything by hand. I would draw it, and I would take a picture of it and do it in a, and, and then do, there was, like, an app, and then I would take it a Photoshop. So it would look a little, like, janky. 
and but now my shit is like clean because like now you know like i'm do, using adobe yeah. photoshop illustrator all that shit like now my shit you know is wh what i wanted to do back in the day so i look back at all the other cover that i used to do and i'm like damn this shit is horrible bro but, oh, but that's whatever. where you start though now yeah, now that, shit's that, legit yeah, yeah it's literally that, what, that shit got your name out that's what i was Lord. that was my that was gonna be my question when did it become like a like a brand in the sense of like start putting it on shirts and uh, all these little things that you do so um like i said like you know growing up i was heavily into like clothes and um shoes like i i was really big on that like i always wanted to be like the flies kid in high school, school. Yeah. the flies kid Bruh. in high school people used to take that shit serious yeah. bro yeah no, but, like, my dog right here <laughs> yeah very <laughs> nah i mean lately i've been slowing down but like that was like i would go well, like I, rem I it all started like this is because um shout out to my sister she was she's five years older than me so i i i wanted to be cool too but like she was on jordans yeah. and shit and like i wanted to be the kid that brought that shit to school like i always wanted to feel like that so i, I remember i started like collecting shoes since i was like a third grader um <coughs> my first pair of shoes i think were like last shot 14s and then um but I, I would get like my 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 birthday gifts, my Christmas gifts. I wasn't asking for video games. I wasn't asking for toys. I shoes. wasn't asking for none of that shit. I wanted shoes, bro. Yeah. Shoes, 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 shoes. So like, eventually it became like, okay, like I fuck with shoes, but I want to get into clothes. Cause um, you probably know like souls and holes, like all this shit. So there was another On Facebook. Page. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> there yeah. was another page called NDSBG Marketplace, and there like I that was like more like. Um, global Ooh. and i would see like people selling supreme shit babe shit like, what the fuck is this that's when you really saw shit like for the thousands yeah and then that's when i'm like damn nobody i know is really rocking with this so i'm like fuck it let me get on this i start selling my shoes and i start buying expensive clothes bro i'm talking about in high school i like you know you know that that meme when when you're going to sleep and you put your outfit yeah. that's your bed? that, that, that was, was literally you? me yeah. no corny shit that was me but i was so happy to go to not school it was like we're probably taking a fucking test nah i'm flying yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. i might not know shit about the test yeah, but I'm I'm good. <laughs> yeah nah for sure and um that really was like priority yeah so then in my, i went to mammy high i i st i'm like the first person with babe with Supreme, I'm coming with Louis Vuitton shit, MCM shit. What? Like, motherfuckers are like, yo, what the fuck? That's like, like, super hard right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember I, I pulled up with an MCM bag and, and some girl, she's like, what the fuck is that bag? Why does it say MCM? The big orange one. Yeah, she, she no, 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 no. I had the black one. She that said that, one? yes, bro, that's what she said. What she said? She's yeah. like, she's probably thinking it was Man Crush Monday, bro. Oh. She's like, why does your bag say Man Crush Monday? And I'm oh like, oh my God. No. Don't worry about all that. I'm like this bag cost bread, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah. So like, I was super big on that. Like, I was I was a stay stay at home kid. So like, being on the internet a lot, like that's how I started learning about so much brands too. And that's where like me wanting to have my own brand came from too. And also, you guys should watch this show. It's called How to Make It in America. Best fucking show ever. Kid Cudi comes out in it. It's a HBO show, but it got canceled um that's the show that really made me want to do clothes because the show is basic it's based on these guys from new york trying to like make a brand too but it's like super tapped in like tapped in into the sense that it's not corny um there's like it's actually real like the guys work at barney's like it's like real legitimate shit. yeah, like yeah behind the scenes kind of a vibe or no it's like an actual show like it's a show but bro it's so fire like i promise y'all it, it may not relate to y'all because obviously like you guys aren't really into like fashion i would say yeah but that shit is very inspiring because yeah. it shows you like being a creative and like like all the hardships and like you know the like someday you could be good and then boom shit happens like yeah. that's basically like the whole point of the show like i remember th uh, uh, there's a point where he fucks like the the wife of one guy that he's supposed to work with Yo. and but yeah it's what? drama <laughs> like it, it's crazy but like i should watch that show should that really happen though yeah, yeah. yeah so then um like back to me um doing all the cover art shit it got to a point where i'm like fuck i don't want to do this i've never wanted to do this so then um i i stopped doing that shit like for a whole year i stopped posting anything on durags and that's when i'm like I started like learning more about clothes too. Like I'm super into Japanese brands and shit. So I started learning a lot of 
like how like their design language like so many shit like every day i'm just like looking at brands looking at t-shirts interviews i'm big as fuck on interviews i watch hella shit so then i'm like okay i'm ready to start putting shit out and then this is like because i had already put out a t-shirt before that shit's fucking whack as fuck to me now. <laughs> you look at it now I look back to it and I'm like, that shit's ugly as fuck. <laughs> how was it? How was it? How was what was the layout? Yeah, what you, was it? it was a it was a yellow shirt and it had like three of like the Durax heads, but this is like when he didn't even have a sailor hat. Like the lines were all janky. It's it's, it's ugly, but I, I fucking hate it. But whatever. I like me dropping that shirt, that was me already diving into, okay, I, I want to do this brand shit for real, for real. But like I said, I took a whole break, and then I'm like, that's when I, I even started get like, that's when I got Illustrator. Um, I got I got a Mac. Like, I got professional with it. Like, I was like, okay, like, nah, like, if I want to take this shit serious, I got to get serious completely. Yeah, yeah. So then um, I think another thing that pushed me, too, is when I got with my girl, like, I saw her, she was getting her shit together. And I'm not doing shit. I just dropped out of fucking college, and I'm like, damn, I'm fucking bum. Like, I have to make the brand work. So that, so that, 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 that really gave me a push. And then I remember it was a a, a black tee that it had like a, a durex. Um, it was a word mark, and um, I did it like uh with braille. You know the shit for yeah, yeah. Um, blind people, like with the dots. Oh, and like, okay. I, 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 it was kind of like based around like the whole bathroom science. So that was the first tee that I feel like brought me back to life. Cause I, I had also dropped a, a crew neck and that shit went stupid crazy. I did a video with it cause I'm big as fuck on visuals, like on details, on all that shit. Even, shows, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm super big on that. Cause I, you know, I'm peeping all these other big brands. So I'm like, the only way I can make my shit real is if I do what they're doing, you know, like not comparing myself like so much, but like at the same type of tier as them. Yeah. But, um, just taking it serious. Yeah. yeah. So then, uh, yeah, ever since I dropped that tea, I started dropping shit. The only thing is I've been a little inc- inconsistent, but like I feel like right now is like where I've been the most consistent. So what do you, what do you um? Because for the viewers that don't know, don't, don't know, you dropped last what was it last month, a couple months ago, for oh February I think because it was yeah, his birthday. It was you dropped like a line with the uh, with the uh, uh, NBA jerseys mm-hmm. with and the ball and the hat. Yeah. A fire ass. And at the moment, where did you get that inspiration? Because basketball wasn't like I think it was the season was on, or I don't know. Do you play? Do you play basketball? Do you? Yeah, do you look I fucking up? love basketball. What's up? <laughs> Not the best, but right. I got a shot. That's the shot. <laughs> I got it. I got a fucking <laughs> shot. Bro. You feel me? Yo, but I'm what a sniper, what, bro. What, yeah. what made you want to do a jersey though? Yo, shout out to Brad. I fucking killed on this hoop, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, yeah, he did throw me out. Like, like, and I was already have a couple of drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, eighteen straight. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so basically just me liking basketball and like, I like, I love jerseys. Word. So that's great. And I wanted, I, I wanted, so it basically came from making the balls. Okay. Cause, um, I want to make more accessories cause I feel like now everybody's just making like t-shirts and that's it. Like just getting shit printed. Like right. every brand just does the same shit. Yeah. They print sweatpants, they print hoodies, they do a little hot, but you know, like making a band has became so saturated that you have to stand out. Trans- so I that- consider you the trendsetter, but you, you feel me? So <laughs> it's it's unique. Just like the the launch you just did right now with the patches on the on the shorts. Mm-hmm. Nobody it. has that innovation. Yeah. yeah. There's no one that like is in our circle or like. At least it feels like no one's done that. No, nobody's done. Like, I mean, at least I haven't seen it. Uh, probably you, you're more like it doesn't sound like market and like how everything moves around there. But yeah, yeah. to us, like to the common like. Consumer, mm. it's, yeah. it's brand new to us. Yeah. It, it's been done, but in different ways. Like uh, I know Bape has a collab with a uh, Converse. I think it's a collab. I'm not sure. And you can take off the, you know, the circle on Converse. You yeah. can mm-hmm. take that shit off. But it's not a different patch. You could just take it off. That's oh. that's it. That's it? Mm. Like that. I wanted to provide some shit that is a collectible. Like you know, like you have three fucking patches, and I plan on releasing more shorts mm-hmm. in different colorways, different patches. So it's like. You get another short and you could wear patches from this drop, or you could, you Yo, know, it's gonna be like, mix and match. Yeah, like that's, that's hard. so that's much hard. shit like that you could collect. I wanna eventually do also like nylon sweatpants with the same patch and then, you know, more colorways bro, and just make that, that shit crazy. That's genius. Or let me tell you why. Because, bro, you know how many more fits you can rock with that same like detail? Like, yeah. Bro, bro, I've ran out of all my combos. Everything. The, the same shorts, <laughs> bro. You can switch up the shirt and it still looks fresh. Like it yeah, yeah. looks like it's like oh, it's a different short. Or it's different. 
Bro, I've used every why. single combination with my jeans, bro. I can't do no more. <laughs> yeah, and I wanted to make that like I want to make it like something like signature from the brand because obviously, like, well, I don't know if the whoever's watching doesn't know like what's really big for me too is the full zip hoodie. Yeah. Yes. Oh so, yeah. That's yeah. Like, that's huge. So I wanted to make something that I'm not only known for the zip for the full zip hoodies because everybody's always asking me like i promise you i'll go on my dms right now on, on my instagram hello people yo when are you you when are when are you restocking when are you restocking when are you dropping again when are you and it's like i do want to drop another colorway but not now like i want people to see that i could do way more right. shit than yeah. just a full zip hoodie you feel me like i have so many fucking ideas like that they're in the vault i just haven't re like release you know, yeah, yeah, yeah it's coming yeah, the right. development process Word. yeah but um yeah, so the shorts was one of the ones that I feel like was gonna hit a lot, and you know, worked out. Thankfully. Who do you, who do you look for, or like listen to on a regular day basis or something like that that gives you like that constant inspiration for keeping your business alive? Um, so who like, or what? Like, like what's like? Yeah, it could be whoever. It doesn't have to be like someone huge either. Yeah, because obviously we we get like where your creativity stem from your background your upbringing and stuff like that yeah and uh eventually you got to the point where you're like okay i'm gonna do a brand but a lot of people the, the starting the brand seems like a hard the hardest part but it's actually the beginning the hard part is keeping it alive for as long as you can so like what gives you that drive every year to just continue to keep working on your brand and keeping it alive um you listen to anybody for inspiration does anybody inspire you in your life damn no, no, kind of I mean, movie. you've seen the success, uh, success it has now. You feel me? So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, people, right not now. even school, so the people. Know. The people actually rock with you. You feel me? Like I've seen all the people. Yeah, like, when I went to when we went to your pop up store, Bro. it was actually like a lot of yes. Like, Can we talk about that yeah, like, that, that threw me off a little crazy. bit. Yeah. Like, bro, is it like seeing it? Like, for example, people always like, uh, like they do shit. Or, or you see people that are already up there and like and you're like, oh damn, that's cool, but like it doesn't feel like I can do it. Yeah. And bro, even at a smaller scale, like like we, we know you outside of this and it's like, oh shit, like he's he's doing it. Like he's okay. like like if he could do it, maybe another people Another person. Another person can do it. Yeah, like bro, I remember you had like a legit store. I I I just like the whole setup you had. Like you had like a little small basketball court. Like I mean, the store itself was like a court. Yeah. And yeah. you had like your stuff on the, on like on the shelves. So like so are you planning on doing more pop up shops? Like pop ups. Or yeah, for sure. You, you I'm want. planning some shit for our Basel. Oh. I don't know what, but yeah, I'm definitely going to for our Basel. Yeah. And now, right now, what you said, I, I really like what you said that, um, you know, like how you see, like, you know, I'm doing it. So it's, it's big on, like, oh, anybody could do it. And I'm really big on that. I feel like, bro, anybody could do whatever they fucking want. Like, G shit. Like, you could do whatever the fuck you want. It's just, you have to put your priorities straight. Yeah. And, do everything that leads you up to doing what you want. Like you could do it, bro. Like, like yeah. I, I just. So we had a meeting outside the outside the pub, and they were like, "Yo, eventually we need to get this guy on, bro." Yeah. Because that, that, that whole experience was dope as fuck. Yeah, it was. It was like friends, like friends, like friends like hanging out, chilling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You feel me? It was it was a cool vibe. Before you were fully fledged within your brand, did you ever visit other brands that did similar things, or did you have oh, any other brands yeah. that that inspired you? Hell yeah! I mean. I'm fucking my, my my big inspiration, like you know, kind of back to what you had asked me, Nigo. So he's the one that okay. made a babe. You know, I I think everybody looks up to him like a god because that man is crazy. Like what he did with babe was crazy. And you see, that's another thing too. That was a good answer to that question. <laughs> yeah. He ran the the whole idea of having a character as a brand. He did that shit so perfect. So that's why I wanted to have, you know, also like a character that um, would correlate kind of like with what he did with Babe and shit. But yeah, he's... You like gave when, your brand a personality right. with the character. Yeah, it's yeah. iconic. We, yeah, once you yeah. see a Babe you see a logo, babe logo you know yeah. Yeah. yeah, and once exactly. you see Durags, you know what Durags is. you see that yeah. bum? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> the bum, the bum <laughs> with like, the ash his lips. No. Uh, nah, yeah. Um, as far as clothes... He's a big inspiration. There's other brands like um Aim Leon Dor, uh Louis, fucking love Louis Vuitton. Like you know, obviously I haven't I haven't. That was that was my intro into real fashion. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, like back in the day, soles and holes and everything. It was, yeah. it was just all like Nike products, Adidas products. 
I remember my first piece of intro into that were the coin pouches and oh, the belt. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. But definitely the, the coin pouch because the coin pouch is more affordable. The belt but, was double the price. Yeah. That's, no, that's no, crazy. now you're talking about the introduction to like, uh, like, like fashion. fashion. Yeah. Bro, you know, what actually introduced me to Babe was your post. Bro, I was like, what, I was like, what fucking shoes are those? Yo, like, okay, okay. Yo, I was like, yo. <laughs> Babe, Babe, Babe like, is old. Bro, I was like, yo. How do yeah, I even look this shit up? Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, bass been around since the nineties, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This shit's been like around, and uh, you know what's crazy? Back in high school, I I, I, I had babes, you know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like wearing them to school because I didn't want somebody to tell me I was wearing fake shoes. Correct. Like I knew what I knew yeah, what I, I was wear, wearing, yeah, yeah. but I w- I feel like I was just gonna get mad, bro. Me too. Like, yeah. Some of them like, oh, you gonna just pay less. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> So I had this little like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an insecure person like I'm I, I admit it you know I feel like all creators everyone is bro I'm all, admit it, all I'm, admit it be, bro. Yeah. I'm super insecure so just the thought of somebody like look at me and and like they don't even have to say to me but they'd be like yo this man wearing fake shoes yeah what is he wearing that'll get you I would probably be like hey bitch speak me up t- <laughs> <laughs> no, I, do. I, w- I was probably the type that i would take an extra pair of shoes and, yes but oh, but too. just because i'm insecure but i hate that shit that you shouldn't be like that because if yeah. you like some shit you yes. should rock it bro. Yeah. but i learned that over time like now mm-hmm. as i've i've as i've matured i've learned that that i'm gonna wear whatever the fuck i want i'm not gonna fuck with anybody with not, yes. shit. And it opens up your eyes too i, I wear- never bought vapes for that reason because <laughs> i already knew that people weren't gonna understand me so i never bought you what you guys want to laugh uh, Soldier Boy put me on to babes. <laughs> no I way. I swear to God. You know there's a babe store here back in, in Miami? Yeah. yeah did I you know, guys know it? Design district. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Soldier Boy did nah, Yums. But back in the day, though. Yums. Yums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, it used to be under the, the railroads in the metro station. Really? Yeah, Um, in Coral Way. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but in Coral Way, yeah, okay. there used to be a babe oh. store. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're gonna get robbed. <laughs> <wrong. laughs> I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. I never fucking knew that. There used to be a babe store there. I never knew that either. That's crazy. I never knew that either. <laughs> He's low-key a fashionista. Going, going, to, fla- uh, going to Flanagan's? You know, Flanagan's, uh, the Coral Waste, um, that's that street. Oh, you talking about, like, the bad... Oh. No, you, I think Way. you're talking about, was it, was it um, BBC? BBC, maybe? I don't think it, it was w- bait, bro. Nah? I was like, Fuck, no. it's, it's right next to, it, was, it was right next to a tattoo parlor, and there's a barbershop right next to it. It was in Coconut Grove? Yeah, going to Coconut Grove. Uh, like passing US one, uh, like US one. That's not called it, but US one. Symbol outside. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking I about. So. I don't know if it was babe now either. Yeah, I don't. Maybe, think it was babe. but it had nah, like it the. Babe, nah, it wasn't babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't think they it was babe. They rob your money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not me. I, I was buying a palace. I don't know about them. It's like fake babe, bro. I know. I know what you meant now, though. The symbol was was in a circle, yeah. and it has a black. Yeah. Babe. But it wasn't babe, though, right? I'm not sure because I. Bape. The babe comes in. in the actual <laughs> character is in the circle, though. For the most part. Damn, I don't know. I don't know. It had the circle and it had a character and it was black. I just know like there was a story. how babe does yeah. it, but I don't know if it was babe. Wasn't it Soul Zinc? Probably. That day you stopped. No, <laughs> I, I, I honestly. I no, no, no. no. <laughs> it was so. Bruh, no, Souls, you would have remembered it was Souls. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Don't worry. I know Soul Zinc. I know Soul Zinc. It it's a, it's a woman, the girl, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she yeah. had a little, a, a little girl with a yeah, yeah. Uh, some helicopter shit. Yeah. I like your question. Okay. Second. Wait, wait, I haven't finished answering yeah, his. Um, yeah. The one yeah, of um, you, so close. Yeah, inspiration, ego. Um, he, I look up to him a lot, and then as a daily, like as me pushing, uh, I would say my parents, cause I. I want my dad to stop working. My mom, she doesn't fucking work. Very <laughs> 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 lazy ass. So that fucking sofa, but that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, 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 but your dad's gonna watch this and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yo, you got it, son. Levantate." <laughs> 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 nah, but G, um, I would say like, um, seeing my dad. I mean, he he has his own business too. He has his own construction company. So that um, that kind of showed me too, like you know, you should be your own boss. Fuck working for someone. Um, yeah. that was your question. That no, was his question. That was. That's your boss, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 that's your boss, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ye
Chill, bro. <laughs> he, Don't get on with him. <laughs> he got me on payroll. I was gonna take the day off, but he didn't yeah, want to let me. Uh, the Joe Budden's just about to happen over here. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, nah, nah, we have to have conversations. Yeah, doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 we're, but, we're avoiding shit. But like that. G, um, like you know, see my pops get up like you know early as fuck every every day. Mm. Like I'm just like, nah, I, I can't. Like he yeah. sacrificed for me so much. Like my parents were, you know, they're immigrants. Yeah. Um, can my, you talk about that real quick? Where, Cause I know you're from Miami. You already gave away what my bad to cut you off. We already know what side you're from, like that Shenandoah side, kind of by Little Havana, and right before Gables kind of area, yeah, right? Voice. <laughs> So I, I was gonna give I that. that. I, was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what he threw. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the people in the game. <laughs> the game shit. At the, at the, at the, it's, uh, it's the coin laundry club yeah, yeah. when they see each other. Estoy lavando sábana hoy, lunes. So, because I was gonna throw that out in the beginning, but oh, yeah, I knew yeah. we were gonna get to it here now. Mm -hmm. Um, where are your parents from? So like, you're, were you born in Miami? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, but the parents. Um, I feel like that's a big thing for everybody who's on this side of Miami, like this side of town. Yeah. Uh, my both of my parents they're um, Honduran. Uh, my dad, uh, my my dad, he came. Uh, you know, obviously illegal, across the border, swam all that shit. Um, then he brought my mom four years later too. But I don't know how the fuck that shit worked because she came on a plane, but she was illegal still. So I don't know how the fuck that shit worked. I, <laughs> I don't know because the way the way the way the way that the way that Cubans do it is different. Yeah, I, I came on a plane, but my grandma like she she and you have to go to Spain first or something like that. Oh no, I didn't go to Spain. I wish. The fuck. Whatever, but I get you. I don't know. My mom did the 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 dirt yeah. route. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> my dad did that shit. So um, you know what's crazy is like that's why like. I don't have a super good relationship with my pops, but at the end of the day, I do like see everything he's done for me and everything yeah, you respect he's gone the... through. Yeah, yeah, like I respect him because my dad, you know, as soon as he got here, started working. You know, what else can they do? Construction. He was doing roofing, and um, when my dad, when he was doing roofing, my dad had a huge uh, accident. That you guys know the roofing, like back in the day, they used to put some black shit and it was like hot. A tar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some I don't, I don't even know what the fuck it is, but. That shit ended up falling on my pops, and he had like all of this. He got burned, and a, a little piece from his face, like right here, is, is kind of burned. So like, that's like something like that. I look as like, damn, this man went through so much. To, it was like, risking a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, you know, like he he went through so much, even like you know, starting up his own company because he used to work with his brother, but his brother is some other shit. My uncle, fucking, I don't know, bro. Like they they don't get along, whatever. Yeah. So, my dad actually started his business when we were in the recession. So that shit was horrible, bro. Like 2007, 2008, 2009. Yes, but that's when that's when he started um his brand. So you know, at first, that shit was kind of rough on us, bro. And he thought it was all gonna go good. And this man even rushed, and that's when we got um the house that we live in and shit. And then. When the business wasn't doing good, my dad was like, bro, what am I going to do? Yeah, to pay yeah. Yes, yeah. straight swiping credit cards. Yeah. Da, 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 da. But, you know, he made it out. Like, so, like, I don't know. I'm just so proud of my dad and, like, him, like, being the way he is and him even having, like, a successful business now. Like, I'm pretty sure my dad, um, he, he, he did Gables. He did, like, the new section of Gables. You guys want to Gables, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my dad also, he has a contract with a TD bank, and he does he does all the TD banks. That's what's up. Um, he does hella schools. So he's made, like, he's made it out, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know, for sure. Like, he's Sacrifice. good. Like, he's good. So, um. But he doesn't do roofing no more, does he? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. What my dad does in construction oh, is he does, like, the, the plastering, like, everything from outside. Oh. He does, like, all the outside. And then sometimes he does interior as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. And then he kind of does uh, what like as a general contractor that you get um, s uh, you're in charge of getting all the other companies. Mm. Like for example, mm. you're in, you're in charge of getting the plumbing, the electricity, the AC. Right. But he doesn't do that. But he just gets a cut. That he hires out. Yeah. Exactly. Like a contractor. So he, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um yeah like my dad he's the one that pushes me because you know I I, I want to buy him a fucking big house I want to get him like you know. Fire ass whips. I want to retire. Do your parents draw? Are they good drawers or no? Fuck no. no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know you were. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. bro, me, yeah, me yeah, neither. Bro. I, I I don't know why I thought you were probably like half Nicaraguan or something. Yeah, yeah. So you're full Honduran. Full Honduran, yeah. And that's another thing too. Like, uh, I feel like I'm in a in a going into an industry that 
it's mostly led by not um Hispanic, Hispanic kids. Yeah. Like especially not Central American. Exactly. Yeah. So Oof. you know, like that's something that I'm really big on and I'm really prideful of being like a Hispanic kid. Like, you know, actually doing this shit. Right. Like, there's other kids, too. Like, in L.A., there's this brand called Menace that's so fucking big. He's Mexican. He's another one, too, like, that he's pushing for, like, you know, like, let's make our, our talent be show. Let's, if an opportunity. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. just, like, show that we're not fucking beaners. Like, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like it's just, there's just not one way out anymore. There's yeah, different like channels we, to... We, we don't only fucking do construction. Like, no, yeah. we're fucking talented yeah. as well. We're long you know? service. Yeah. 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 Where, yeah. With that being said... Were your parents accepting? Uh, that's a good question. Like, oh, this is what I want to do? That's a good question. Well, my my mom, she's always, like, supported me, like, with whatever I want to do. My pops, he was kind of the one that he was kind of, like, iffy. He's always mm -hmm. wanted me, like, to follow his footsteps. He wanted me to become an architect. And I was like, bro, I don't want to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That shit is super, like... Exact too, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. like I was like, I'm not gonna. That's a lot that of school. Shit. That is that a lot of school. Rigorous. And yeah. then he wanted Boys, me. Bro. He wanted me to take over his business too, but that's not me. Like, yeah. I see it like. It's not my dream, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's you. Bro. Like, I'm gonna do me. But um, no, it's not their fault though, because they they don't they don't just, they bro, don't see the creative different side. with you Hispanic know parents. Good, Sorry to cut you nah, off. You know what's good is that. <laughs> Is that he really did not forgive you. <laughs> nah, it's cool. <laughs> Fuck ass. Fuck. Yo, it, it's good that they, they put you in a situation where you, like, you're free to choose because some people don't have that. Like, yeah. Some people is like, yo, like, this is what you're going to do after. Like, you're taking this shit over for me. Literally. And they gave you that space and freedom to like, all right, no, nah, he's doing his thing. That's another thing too as well, like kind of correlating with what you said is like, I'm super, like, that's also why I'm so thankful for my dad because... You know, I know there's, like, people that they have it fucking hard. They have to work two jobs to maintain. They probably don't have uh, their dad. They probably don't have their mom. They probably live by themselves. Yeah. You feel me? I'm, I still live with my mom, and I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm living, well, with my mom and dad. I'm living there until the wheels fall off, you know? Yeah. Until, literally, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I am no There's, there's, the there's, no, Hell, there's yes, no shame bro. in literally, that. Bro. I don't understand I, what the, there's no shame in that. So live stupid. on your own. Yeah. Ray, you're 35, move out! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yo, fucking wife and kids. Get through a second. Nah, yeah, like. Yeah. 35. Damn, man. No, once you get wife and kids, like, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll be surprised. They've been milking it with two kids. No, people that dead ass yeah. do it, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's and they, they have the means to go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, like, so, you know, like, my dad, you know, having his business, like, it's giving me the chance that I could fail. I could fail, and, you know, at the end of the day, I have my parents to fall back on. There, there's not a lot of people that could say that, you know, so I'm super thankful for that. And, like, I remember back in the day, people used to say I was fucking rich or something. And it's like, no, I'm not rich, bro. I used to go to work with my dad. I used to be under the yeah. sun. You know why? Back to the mijo getting fly shit. I used to go and work with my pops. And Just I was, so you could buy that? Yes, but I was, like, I, I felt so good. I, remember I went to Y3, and I had bought some, some, some shoes there, the quasi some shit. They were like 500, but bro, I was a 12th grader, you know, like having like 500 and dropping that shit on shoes was like, damn. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I was yeah. showing up. <laughs> I felt good as yeah. fuck, bro. But, but you oh, know okay. what? But you work for it though. It's not, I, like, I, your, it's not like your parents yeah, gave you yeah, that I was working every, I was working Saturdays and um, Sundays with my pops. And then I would work in the summer too. I loved summer because that's when I would always rack up, right. rack up, rack up. But it, I was dumb. I wasn't saving up. I was just buying shit. Yeah. <laughs> But, right. <laughs> but yeah, so like people would be like, "Oh, you're rich." I was like, but I I didn't like saying that I was working for it. Like I don't know. Like back to like me being insecure. Like I didn't. I I've never liked people knowing so much about my personal life. Like possibly this. Yeah, you is, just want to be private. Yeah, yeah like I, I think way. this is like the me like out. opening up. Like there's a lot of people that know me, but they don't actually know me. Like I feel like. I've been told too that I look kind of like dickyish or that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I'm, I get that. that I'm Yo, like, wait, you guys, <laughs> yeah, you look like a fucking dick. <laughs> no, but because I'm the same. I'm yeah, quiet yeah. too, bro. So like, I come off as an asshole. So yeah, I, like, I completely understand. That bro. I'm like stuck up or yeah. this and that, or that I think I'm big shit. But then when they meet me, they're like, "What the fuck? This kid's not even nothing like that." <laughs> and it makes me feel good because I'm. I know I'm not like that. Yeah. 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 Did anybody help you with the business side? Fuck no. Like once you got, because right now you were you were touching on that right now, saying like, damn, like you don't have to save up back in the day for my shoes, and when you decide to make it a brand, I'm gonna start putting my brand on clothes and sell There's the clothes. A cost that comes with that. All right, did, what did you fall back on? Did you go to like YouTube, Google? You just figured it out and and invested your money. 
like so you're was it a big investment when you first started yeah or was it just like on a slow on a lower scale? Yeah, on a lower scale. I mean, I've never gotten a loan. I've never gotten shit like that. It's just I've worked, and the money that I have just goes directly into it to the business. Like right now, um, I'm still working. I still have a fucking nine to five. Um, I work at a hotel that I fucking hate every day, and I want to quit so fucking <laughs> That's the bad. Best. I literally <laughs> left in a month, bro. Really? I started working at a hotel. I was like, I cannot do this, bro. And I left. Why don't you name it, Brandon? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> It's a concert Monday, like yo, I gotta fucking make it. Yes, bro. Yeah. Yes, bro. Nothing gets me more. Don't even get me riled right up. Bro. No, nothing gets me more inspired than having to do something I fucking hate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, like I'm so fucking bored right bro, now. Like, yeah, yeah, I thought I hated the job we were at. When I got to that one, I was like, oh my god, bro, what did I do? Bro, bro? We, used to, we used to talk about it like at work. We used to have to do some, some fucking fat ass job. We're like, yeah, we're gonna fucking make it. Like, yeah, because I, I, I don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were you guys doing? Bro, we, we used to make. Oh, I still do it. Yeah. But it's because it affects over my school and shit. Yeah. But uh, we like produce documents for lawyers. Okay. So, bro, it's just making copies, scanning Literally. shit. But it's like sometimes it's super tedious, bro. Like, you like gotta scan a receipt, and it has to be the right way. It's super like. One time we were doing it for like this big law firm, and they had like I don't know how many boxes. Bro, it, it had to be like twenty. 25 to 30 boxes of documents to scan. God yeah, so it's literally oh just God. doing the and same box. movement all day, bro. Eight hours, taking bro. Shit, taking a staple off, putting it in the machine, taking it back. Putting the staple back again, in. In the folder, in the box. It <laughs> bro, like, it was just like, we were looking at each other like, yo, bro. The bro, name. We were on the table next to each other like, yo, we gotta fucking <laughs> 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 yo, they We gotta come up with something. They walked out like 20 paper cuts. Yo, I hate paper cuts, bro. Them shits hurt. Hey, I'll get that now, man. They had 20 paper cuts. But yeah, bro, there's nothing super, like a job you hate. Super, like, oh, like, but it, it, it is good because like it, 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 it keeps you motivated. It, it you, like, pushes you. I gotta, yeah. yeah, I gotta, I gotta make it out somehow. Hey, look, so what, what I do at the hotel where I work at, so I work at the rooftop. They have a pool and they have a restaurant, so I'm a food runner there. And you know, I'd be surrounded seeing fucking rich people all the time. So uh, I just like think to myself like I gotta be on this tip. Like, yeah, I gotta be on this tip. Right. And at the same time, it's not even about me being rich. Like obviously, I know, I know that's gonna come with the <laughs> brand, but like I just want to show like my talent. You know, my my design wise, my ideas. Like that's yeah. that's what I want to like put the world, whole world on. Yo, can you give me a layout? Like let's say we're going out of brunch. What what would you wear? Head, to head to toe. Yeah, head to toe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me get just stylish real quick. Trying to pick at your. Cause look, I know, I know, I know, where, I know where you're going with this. Cause we all have different tastes. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I go to brunch, I don't usually dress how I usually dress. I try to, you know, go more poppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Poppy yeah. shampoo, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. Hard but like crazy colors out here. Let me not. Let me not say brunch. Like uh, casual, like movie night. Or a uh, date. Casual movie night. A date. That's a good way to put it. I like that. So start from the bottom, shoes, and then go from the top. Uh, Wait, hold on. Would you start from the shoes? Yeah, yeah. would you? Okay. Wait, that's a, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. a good question because I don't know. A lot of people don't go uh, shoes first. So right now I'm really rocking with New Balances. It's like right now, like I fucking love New Balances Fire. right now. So probably, I don't know. Like my style has changed like a lot. Like it always, it's a constant change in, in my style. So it's like hard for me to tell you. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm, I would wear now, but like it's always changed. What? Because I hate... Yo, do I talk a lot? I'm sorry. I feel like you guys. Bro, have no, to man. No, we, we want you to. This. Yeah, we, we love it. Okay. <laughs> the more you talk, yo. the better, bro. If you have questions for us, though, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you want, I'm like, gotta, I'm like, yo, talk. You gotta this go. Is, yo, this yeah, is your show, yeah, bro. literally, yeah. Right. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck nah, up. Nah, nah, you're good, bro. Exactly. It's, 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 it's how you know. It makes it go smooth. Yeah, thanks. You're you're a humble guy, bro. Thank you, thank you. Now, so um, I don't like. Okay, so. I hate wearing shit that everybody else is wearing, but it's kind of hard avoiding that now with mm. the internet. Because back in the day, like, you know, like, there wasn't all these, like, archive pages. Like, there's a page called Hidden. Like, you know, there's so many pages and, like, that shows you, like, what's, what's like, fly, what everybody's wearing right now. And um, back in the day, there wasn't that. So it was kind of easy, like, you know, to have your own little swag. Mm -hmm. So now it's hard because... You're always moving on to the next thing, always moving on to the next right. thing, always moving on to... Well, personally, me, like, right. I, re like I really yeah. fucking care about it. <laughs> so it's like right now, everybody's like on Off-White, um, Chrome Hearts. Yeah. Like, I, I was wearing Go Chrome... Right I was wearing Chrome Hearts, like, two years ago. Like, I feel like it really blew up right now. It, it did. It is. <laughs> My man's been on that shit. Yeah, nah, G, G, G. You yeah. know why it blew up, though, right? Drake. Oh, 
Drake, it was Drake right? And yes, all the rappers bro. too, and all the yeah, rappers yeah. wearing that shit. Nah, but that shit didn't really get known until Drake, Drake put it on a car and then his headband and then. Yeah, yeah, so. you're, you're right, yeah. Yo, I love Drake, by the way. Like real quick. Um, I would probably throw on some New Balances. Uh, shorts? Casual movie night. Yeah, right, shorts. Casual. Little shorts. I love fucking little shorts. Nine inch I bro, hate no, long it. shorts, yes, bro. bro. Thank you. I Thank you. I look back at my old picture. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> With the cargo <laughs> shorts? Bro. Please don't tell me you wear cargo shorts. <laughs> I mean, high school, bro. Like, cargo bro, pants. Bro, it, I wear that now, bro. Like, yo, like, you have good legs. I'm like, yo. I'm doing above the leg, above the knee shorts now. Yeah, bro. Yes, bro. I used to be, I used to be the opposite. Like in high school, I was like, I, I cannot wear the little ass this shorts. This man had the Adam Sandler basketball shorts. They, 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 they were at the FIU, FIU, and um, they were like, you know, they got into the frats and like the in the Greek life, they all all they do is wear like the little ass shorts. It's like a culture. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm never wearing that. That as soon as I get that FIU, and now I cannot wear shorts that go past my knees, bro. He would, he would. Oh my god. Yeah. We we I remember that conversation. We would be in the car, and I and he was like, "Bro, I'm not wearing that." I'm like, "All right, I'm not gonna make you. Just yeah, yeah. when you just get there, you're gonna know. see. And once you see the culture, you're like, oh yeah, bro. My I first gotta, my first tailgate, so free, I bro. show up and there's the kid. I think he was a pledge. He shows up with cargo shorts oh, or cargo pants. I remember that day. No, One of the brothers no, literally no, grabs his knife out, <laughs> cuts the 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 pockets off the side of his uh, uh, pants. Yeah, yeah, he made <laughs> he made him tailgate yeah, with, with, it, yeah. the, with the with the shorts like, cut off. Damn, no, shit's that, really, that fresh shit, they really take it serious? Bro, yeah, yeah, when you're in the when you're in it, that's like that's like a, a, a mafia. Mafia. <laughs> Once you look at it now, you're like, what the fuck was I doing? Like yeah. I I'm not even gonna get it. It's worse, it's worse upstate. You yeah, know, like, like at FIU it was pretty regulated. Okay. Upstate is like like those college towns, like Al- Alabama or like, something, where that's literally Florida the state. They make you like do certain shit that's like, yeah. you know, like Personally, I wouldn't want to dress like that, but I would like to party with frat nah, people. Nah, it was it or was more. It was more. Yeah, bro. It was more. It was per occasion. Okay. So, like for example, tailgating, and my frat took tailgating serious because we were like we were always competing for like the best tailgate all the time with like two other frats, mm-hmm. and the the usual tailgate attire was that it was like short, uh, sporty, dry fit khaki shorts, but they were short. It was just the culture because your outside is hot as fuck. We would do the dry fit polos. Sperry's was like the most popular thing, but you didn't have to just wear Sperry. It was by occasion. Yeah. Because we were pretty diverse. Like, our frat was known for the diversity. We had a Europe crew. We had a black crew, Hispanic crew, regular Caucasian. We had, like, a huge mix. So, we would be, like, in our regular meetings, we would all dress regular. Yo, but per occasion, we would. Yeah. (laughs) He's like, yo, we talk about something important. No, nah, they tell, the tell you, they tell you. What length shorts? In the meetings, yeah. they were like, yo, you can, you can only wear these type oh, yeah, of shorts. Yeah, in the meetings, yeah, we would. So that was like, that's like the that's the stepping, about. that's the stepping outfit. Like the Sperry's with the little shorts. That's like, you traditional douchebag frat shit. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, legit. Literally. With the Vineyard Vines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah bro. That's we had some. I'm good on that. We had some tailgates that were themed though. So we had a tailgate that was all jersey theme. You had to pull up with a jersey. And people went ham for that. Yo, we people brought, we brought like out vintage. Me, oh shit! People brought out vintage jerseys. Uh, I love those, the bro. The hard, throwback bro. Memphis Grizzly jerseys, Hardest and then the Raptor one too. That, those Raptor, are my, the, the my favorite. Ones? Yeah, yeah bro. that's hard. Yeah, old old jerseys go way harder. Yeah, than hell yeah. yeah. I, I I don't know why I love the Nike like '90s stuff, like the like neon colors and shit like that. Yo, oh, I, I love hard. it. The Dolphins jacket I have. I bought a I bought a vintage. The throwback Dolphins. Yeah. Yeah, damn. When was this? Throwback Marlins one. The new ones are a piece of shit. Bro, yeah, 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 bro, I, I hate, hate the new ones. ones. Like the 2000, 2000, 2001 Marlins are fucking crazy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Bro. So obviously Nike's like the shit, I but the but I have a I have a jacket that I bought at an Art Basel. I want to say twenty eighteen or nineteen. The Dolphins. Yes, bro. That I bought from a lady from a vintage <laughs> pop up, mm-hmm. and um, it was it's Reebok because the NFL used to be the Reebok. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, bro. Nothing. It's, it's, like, it's, I it's like the leather ones or the no puff. Oh, okay, okay. And it's hard, hard. bro the the vintage retro shit with the retro colors. I don't think I that shit's just it stands out. It's like the, yeah, the it nylon, does. right? The the super like uh, dry fit. Mahomeno. Mahomeno, yeah. Mahomeno, yeah. But I don't. I've never even worn the jacket. Is that I, it's just delicate too, because it's old, bro. It really is from like back then. Like I want to say like what's a what's a trendy what's a trendy trendy like piece of clothing right now? I know the fitteds. That's into yo. Right now, I mean, fitters never went away, but trendy, like trendy. Bro, r- r- right now, fitters have yeah. Oh, have been no, no, no. Really there, was, there was a moment where they kind of went out, and everybody was just rocking uh, snapbacks. Snapbacks. Oh, yeah, everybody true, was true. like, "Fuck fitters, fuck fitters." Yeah. That's that whole fucking uh, you know me, not my, not my yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Andy brought up a good point. The the side bags. That's nah, trendy. That, that's the accessory now. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty big. Uh, brands, come hearts for show. 
Um, people are rocking with Rick Owens. Uh, what else? What else? What, what else? do you wear besides your own stuff? Yeah, what do you wear? Yeah, I was gonna you're say, do you because your shit right now is fresh, by the way. Thank you. Like do, you regular, do you regularly wear your own stuff or no? Nah, no, nah, you try to. I, I, yeah. I only okay. wear it today for a special occasion, I but figured. I usually don't wear my own shit. Uh, I don't know why. You just don't, don't like it? it it's Do like, you find it tacky? Yeah, it's, it's like a creator's like set, like mind state where it's like, ah, oh, like I think, like I've seen it so long that I think it's walk now. Mm, but to yeah. other people, it's like, it's, it's, it's like rappers that listen to themselves in the car. Bro, I, I'll be honest. <laughs> like, they're, I, they're I, generally I, just driving, listening to I themselves. I mean, listening to Back to the Podcast just because I've edited for so long. I used to hate it because I'm like, oh, I hate the way my my voice sounds. But now I've just gotten so used to it. I'm like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I feel, I feel I just that. Love you, you, just, you just get self conscious. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know? I feel, I feel like when I when, when I watch this shit, I'm gonna hate my voice, bro, because I got a I got a little bitch voice. I, I, feel, <laughs> I feel the same. I used to feel the same way, bro. Yeah. Like, I just me too, bro. You, but you, that you, you got a deep voice, voice no, no. But after, I I don't listen to a pause either. Like after a while, I'm like. Cause we do it right here live, you feel me? So mm -hmm. we're just live conversation. But watching, I definitely don't watch yeah. it. I, I mean, I, I I'll play it to get the view. You feel me? Yeah, yeah you gotta click I watch on it. stuff. But I do not watch it. I'm I watch not, it. I watch. I, it. I hate the. I'm, I'm just, um, just to make sure I, I I get that view. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're we're pretty easy going, but if anybody's like anal or like a bitch, it's probably me. Cause okay. I I really like watching the video and like I don't know. Cause I just think about it. Like let me. I try. I like putting myself. You probably do this as as a business owner. And brand owner, I, I I always try to put myself in the other person's shoes. Yeah. Like, what if I just so happen to come across this group of guys? Like, what's my first impression? And then I press play, and I try to view that. Yeah. For the first time, you get me. So like, if, if someone gets on your phone, you'll get hot. Yes. What do you mean? Like, if someone like, for example, one of them starts hitting. Oh no no! Keys. If an interview gets like gets on the phone, like it's not into the conversation. Then yeah, that's, nah, I mean, weird. that's disrespectful. But we, yeah, we, yeah, look, yeah. At, we look at the phone I, just to get the question. I try yeah, not we, to. We, we yeah. look at the notes. Yeah. No, no, I've, lear for time to see, to see I've, I've learned that time from other too. podcasts where, like, they generally, like, they, that's like, I feel like that's like an unwritten rule. Like, you shouldn't be on your phone. Like, Rogan, like, he he turns his off. Like, he doesn't even have it on. It's just rude, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, it's just rude because, like, like, I watch podcasts and motherfuckers get anal about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Like, Yo, turn your fucking phone off. Like, I, I, um, I just have it on, like, like they say, like, if someone's like, imagine you take a heartfelt story, you got a motherfucker. Cause sometimes I write good <laughs> questions down and I forget, like yeah. just in the flow of a conversation, you just right, read the right. question itself. So I like to go back to, or we have timers on for the oh, camera. Okay, so we, like we we mostly do like, it because it's four of us. Yeah. Like let's yeah, say exactly. the interview was just me and you. I'm freestyling the entire time. Literally. Yeah. Okay. But since it's four of us, and somebody's talking, so I, I just go quick. Yeah, and sometimes you'll answer a question. That, that was already written down. That was probably Brandon's. Now yeah. we all go back. Sh -sh -sh -sh. You get me? Yeah. Like, it's just to control like, the flow for, and shit. Not me, trying to be redundant. For me, for right. example, I have the notes on my laptop because I just connected my phone. Yeah. yeah. But they don't see it. Mm -hmm. So it's like that they have to go back and like... Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. Me? Do you listen to podcasts? I know you listen to interviews, but like podcasting. Uh Yeah, I, I watch the No Jumper show. <laughs> I like it. He's uh, cool. I like, like it. Yeah. Like no and like, since obviously, I, I like all his interviews, like I watch him too. Um, I I watched I recently started watching the Joe Budden one, pretty straight. Uh, other podcasts. Would the Breakfast Club be a podcast, or yeah. are they more like a radio show? Yo, I don't. I, damn, they're they're kind of both. No radio, bro, show, radio show. They're a radio yeah. show. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I I love their show in the sense of like when it comes to interviews, like especially with rappers like that. I, I, their dynamic. Charlamagne so many doesn't people give a fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah, Charlamagne you know, doesn't really doesn't give a fuck. In in terms of like for example for me, I don't even listen to like. I don't listen to podcasts that, that talk mostly like I, I remember I, I did watch No Jumper for a minute, but I feel like the the ones that I'm most tapped into are like the not the comedian the not the, the not comedy comedians, ones, yeah. but like I guess yeah in a way too ran by comedians. mostly by, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That comedians are like because bro that their conversations go crazy yeah that's like, that's what I listen to the most uh Brilliant Idiots is like a big one that I'm on it has Charlamagne and Andrew Schultz yeah. Flagrant too, Andrew Schultz and uh, his, his other comedian friends. I can't believe you used that name. That name to me is like iconic. Flagrant, bro, because yeah, Flagrant, Flagrant too. Yeah, yeah it, do, you they don't have you don't have a word that's stuck with you throughout like your whole life. Just a specific word. Is it? It's no. kind of a weird question. Yeah, I, but for me, it's a word I can't is a say. Word that has stuck. Flagrant so, too. They they used to talk about sports, but they don't talk about sports anymore. It's like yeah. their ongoing joke because they used to talk about just like sports, and then from a comedian's point of view, 
He used to crack, bro. They rank on everybody, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's a fucking, that's a great word. Bro, you know, what they, you, know, you know what they talked about? They talked about how in Space Jam, they took out Lola Bunny's, like, ass. They're like, yo, Lola Bunny doesn't have an ass no more. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo hey, bro, that's trash. Not gonna lie, Disney used to be kind of wild back then with the like, with the women characters, bro. bro. What, what was that? Um, what <laughs> no, was the, that guy, show? the guys too, though. Uh, Dexter's Laboratory. They're like, yo, Dexter's, Lab- Dexter's mom was fine. <laughs> <laughs> bro, um, For no reason. Miss Incredible. Yeah, yeah. Sure yo, thick was, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like slim thick. Like, yo, they used to make the moms mad if I Yeah, <laughs> for no reason, bro. But damn, Ray really just walked yo, out right Ray now. Walked he's, yo, he's, he's about, that shit. None of us has literally never done that, bro. Yeah, he, he's done it already one yeah, time. Yeah, he's done it one time. Has he really? Because he yeah. had to pee. He oh. had to pee. Like me right now, I'm about to pee again. Like, but I'm not walking out, though. We're straight. That, that's how you know that he's... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's about to go he's down. Hold bro, it no more. It's about to go down. But what I was going to ask you was... Because now we're transitioning into present future. I wanted to ask you about the, like what you can give us for the future that you can kind of talk about now. <clears throat> you get me? I know some stuff is in the vault that's not even developed yet. You probably yeah. won't talk about that. Anything? Anything? I know you got the drop coming up soon. Uh, so for sure, I'm gonna drop more like a uh, cut and sew pieces, like you know, like more like high fashion shit. Like like I said earlier, like I'm not trying to just focus on t- Prince. t-shirts. Yeah, like. I'm I I I have like a undeniable love with t-shirts but uh that's not going to be like my main thing cuz I plan on doing a whole lot of crazy shit like I want to take it to the point where I'm doing furniture where like I'm doing like crazy accessories you, you're really getting into like the artist yeah side. I, I want to do like ac- so, so many accessories I want to do like get sculptures made uh like with the brand like how I said cut and sewn like I want people to wear like like I'm, I'm a one i want to make pieces that is some shit that you'll wear to like a met gala like shit like that like i like that like it's not just gonna be like but at the same time i'm never gonna lose the root of you can also get like a t-shirt from me because um obviously like you know like i like drawing i'm i'm really um so one thing that inspires me a lot is uh richie rich the comic book okay i love the their like how they do everything and you know, like how he's the character, but then they make shit like the money sign. Like there's there's one that it's a Dalmatian and instead of it being spots, it's like money signs on it. So I really fucking love that. And because I want to have the character and I want to have like, you, I don't know if you've guys seen the blank, the, the outline, the shadow of him, too. Like I'm doing a lot of shit with him, too. Um, So, yeah, those two things, I want to really establish them in clothing like jackets uh, right now um I'm, I'm working on a corduroy jacket a full corduroy jacket with it all in embro- all, em- all over embroidery um yeah like I, I i just plan on doing like crazy shit when it comes to clothes like shit that that you can even get at a, at a good price too because i'm never gonna become an asshole and raise my prices like so fucking crazy yeah like I wanna, I wanna be sh- sure that 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 the average kid can go ahead and cop it. But like, you really have to want it. Thank you for so that. I'm always, so I'm always keep it like limited, you know. Like I'm never gonna like you know. There's brands that they start doing mass production and then they they do a lot. Then that they lose the touch. Exactly, that loses the that that little niche of you. Fuck, I have to be on it. I have to get it. And that's kind of what I feel like I've been growing. Like people are like. As soon as I drop, they're like, fuck, we have to be on it. We have to be on it. If not, we're going to miss out. I get people telling me, like, damn, bro. Can you please, like, put one aside for me? <laughs> yeah, bro, da, 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 da. Yeah. bro is it, those hats are so fire. Bro. Yeah. 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 I know, bro. I even that day, I was like, bro, I buy the one off your head right now, bro. Please. Like, <laughs> like, we nah, sweat and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, like I like how I said furniture. I I just got a sample like two days ago. I'm doing like a like a, a cushion that you could throw in your bed or you could throw on your, oh, on, that's your hard. on your couch, whatever. Like I'm just basically the whole brand. It's basically inspired on shit that I grew up like and Supreme shit that I like. Type shit. Yeah, like like not even not even just clothes. Like like things that I always found like. Um, I'm just saying, I just brought Supreme because Supreme, they have a screwdriver. Yeah. It says screw Supreme. Yeah, you, you see, me? so like, it's kind of, a, a shit outside the box. Like kind of in know. the same way, exactly like right. that. Like, I want to do like cool accessories like that. Um, but yeah, like, the brand is basically based like on my life too. Like, like for example, like the Dursady shirt that I dropped, I was super infatuated with that that model of uh, of the Mercedes. 
because um you know like it was like the car that like the drug dealers was driving and shit so i'm like super i infatuated with that um when it comes to music as well it's something that i'm super inspired with like whether it be old music new music perreo like sure. <laughs> like i i love like all types of music yeah. except country music i'm sorry if any of you have <laughs> country music i love country music, I hate it's, country it's, music. it's mostly him and i like, only yeah, yeah i love you listen to country i listen to one guy and he's under flame, so I'm not gonna date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're yeah. no. Nah, but you're good. Don't no worry. Nah, we're we're not, I used to hate it too. I used to hate it too. I'm not out here on co- in cowboy boots yeah, either. Yeah. yeah, I'm not out here just yo. You gotta listen to this new nah, album. I'm, nah, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a book. I'm a I'm a very um open minded person, and I've gave it a chance like several times, not just once. I, I you just can't get into I, it. I just yeah. can't, bro. It's not me, dog. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's just and not and me, and bro. I know that. Hey, for for that, you should make a cowboy hat. Yo, that'd be hard. I know two people already. Yo, when uh. When you get when you get into into other interviews and shit like that, they're gonna ask you like, "Yo, where'd that come from?" But I just really don't like country music, <laughs> so I made a hat for yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. This is an anti cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, I I can't get in the whip and just turn on country music. Nah, I can't, bro. I was like, I, I know at least two of your friends who probably have tried to put you on that shit. Yeah, yeah I, it don't work. <laughs> yeah, it don't work. We're dancing and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, like well, like so. What, what people can expect from me for sure is like what you see like uh like pieces from like Louis Vuitton like even like pants like patterns like like crazy shit like I want to make like bags too like live ass bags like I'm gonna do all that shit like I'm gonna do everything that I grew up liking and shit so that's what people can expect not just t-shirts any collabs uh, that you're looking forward to maybe uh a collab I would someone I would love to collab with New Balance I love New Balance. That's a good goal too. They're super yeah. comfortable because yeah. that's that's super that's comfortable. You can yeah, no, you shit. Bro. <laughs> Yo, it's not like, you my dad. like a dad, bro. No. <laughs> Those sketchers. A lion, a lion puts the shoes on and <laughs> runs a little bit. <laughs> like to t- I got to test them out. Yo, I'm I'm telling you, bro. you know I always be in that barbecue. I know. A in full locker. Wait. <laughs> Yo, on the locker. Hey, the O line, the O line stuff. <laughs> 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 I'm in full locker, like sprinting out the support, you know what I'm saying? Creasing up the forces. Yo, a line asks a line asks for shoes in wide. Do you have these uh, the white bro, I remember my, my the first time my mom asked you some shit like that, I was like, What? I didn't even know that shit existed. Like you know when you go to a store and you just ask for your size? Like I'm a nine, I'm a ten, I'm an eleven. I remember back in the day, like certain people walked in there and asked for like white shoes. I'm like, what? What what? Like like yo, there's really people out here con pata ancha. No, like pata ancha. <laughs> like Sasquatch. For real. Yeah, for real. I, I have those, but I still don't ask You have white <laughs> shoes? No, I have a white foot, but I don't ask for the white yo, yo, they, were just, they were just pulling up with no size, just give me white this, shoes. The white like, shoes. They would, yo, get, they would get. They would get the whitest. They would get. Someone's gonna know what I'm, it has to. Some, someone's dad knows like what I'm talking about, bro. Jeez. You get your size, but then you also get it a little wider. You just, you're just out here with, with, with tamal foot. No. <laughs> yo, so I wanted to ask you: Did you collab with somebody for the store, or so the store owner? Um, his name is up to something. He um he throws like random events and then like during COVID I guess he was like cutting a deal with people so he told me if we collab uh you just got the the rent was a thousand but he's like if we collab um you just gotta pay me a four hundred so and then I I dirt guess, cheap yeah Yo, yeah let me tell you for real we looked into the event. Shit, and let me tell you, that yeah, shit that, not cheap. If it would have been that, I'm like, yo, let's do it for sure. 400. Yeah. <laughs> so look, Jump right now. Look. Yeah, yeah. So, like, the 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 point was that, um, so we collabed on the hats because he actually, he, he, I don't know if you guys remember the hats that used to say finessing. Mm? So, he was the one that used to do them. Did oh, he really? He was the one yeah, that did those? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, he used to do the those finessing hats yeah. and shit. So, um, he has, like, all the embroider machines and all that. So uh, he he told me fuck it let's do a hat and then you know I'll make the rest of the the thousand you know how it was a thousand but he charged me four hundred I'll probably make the rest in um in the in the hats and I think he did I think he made way more than a fuck no for sure he made more than a thousand fuck. yo finessing yeah. was a popular back yeah. then yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like the that profit we split um between us two 
and then the the full profit of the shirts and uh, the jerseys and the basketball that was that was towards me. Uh, that was towards you. Yeah. Yo, ma- manifest that New Balance shit. Because now that yeah, I really yeah, think yeah, about it, yes. New Balance is like they're be a great collab too. Barstool. They've, New Balance is like they've been they've been big on the actual functionality of shoes. Yeah. But you can tell they've been embarking every year consistently into urban, mm, and yeah, you're yeah. like urban staple right now. I know you're embarking also on high end fashion, mm. but you're an urban staple in Miami. You can really. You yeah. can really make that shake, is what I I'm trying to say. That'll be hard. I That'll did, be uh, stupid. Yeah, I love New Balance. Bro. For so I, I study advertising. So I remember for one of our of our like mock brands, uh, it was New Balance, and that was our goal. Like me and my group, that was our goal to like, kind of like they're like, all right, this is like a fake brief we're gonna give you. We're gonna give you a brand, and then what you do with them is up to that. Like it's yeah. just between your group, decide what you want to do with it. Mm-hmm. So we, that's actually like one of the main thing we did. It's like yo like. They're big in like the dad community, but like, yeah, yeah. you look at them as like, oh, your dad's shoes. Like, yeah. you want to make it like, yo, it's like, it's a shoe for everybody. Like, it's yeah, like, like, it's cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that was one of the biggest challenges. I, f- I feel like they're a brand that's like definitely they're due for that. Yeah, yeah. no, they're, they're they're definitely like smart in the way that they're taking it now too. Like. They they've always had like good collabs. Like I remember, um, there's this guy. He's a he's a designer, Ronnie Fike. <coughs> he's the owner of Kiss too. He was doing remember? like s- that's the, that's who the guy said Kiss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was doing some crazy. Uh, Jay. Um, he, he's saying that that's another person who inspired him too. Oh, Ronnie Fike. Oh, yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Did say that. Right. Yeah. So he was doing like collabs with a uh, New Balance and Asics. So that 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 is back like to what I'm telling you. Like it. Like I've been on like trends. And then I always leave them because it, everybody gets on it. Like, I yeah. hate that shit. So Same. this was like, I think when I was a 10th grader. No, this was, I was a freshman in high school. That's when that was popping. Like the Ronnie Fight collabs, which he was doing collabs with Asics, um, New Balances, uh, even, even Puma. Like he was actually like pushing to make that shit cool. And it was like, it was a market for it. Like it, they were going for like a good um, resale value. But then it got to the point that everybody started hopping on it. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm leaving this. But like, I feel like it's coming back, not with him, but like, you know, with other collaborations. Like a big one is the Joe Fresh Goods. Um, but yeah, like New Balance is, and they signed, I think, Jack Harlow to them. Yeah, they did. So New Balance did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are doing that yeah. now where like they sign um, brand, brand deals, brand deals. Yeah. Yeah. Puma's yeah. big now too. Yeah, Puma, Puma, Puma used to be. Yeah, I used to be pushing for it too. I feel like they haven't reached it yet because yeah, yes. I haven't. You know, you know what's big for them is the their like their introduction, their reintroduction into basketball. Uh, yes. Puma? Puma? Yeah. Oh, really? They're doing they, like they got Lamelo. They, they have a cool basketball shoes. Yeah, they oh, got the. They signed Lamelo. Yeah. They signed Lamelo. I didn't know that. Yeah, I used to make fun. Kind of good, I used to make actually. made fun of in school wearing Pumas. And yeah, now almost, everybody's like, yeah. I caught the pair of Pumas just because. Yo, we really, the, the up, like. we really were stupid back in the day. Like yeah. just only rocking with the same. But bro, things. it's high school though. Like that's no, and that's all the menta- that's the whole mentality in high school, bro. Like you don't want to seem like it's. I, I, it's like very rare to see like kids doing really doing. Their own, it's all about popularity and shit like that. I so feel like now they're doing it though. Fuck that. Yeah, now it's a little bit different. Yeah, now people are stepping out, but back then, bro, like. If you weren't like at least when we were in Gables, I remember everybody wore polos, bro. like the like polo Ralph Lauren shit, like the fucking fat ass. I'm not, and I'm not gonna lie, yeah, half yeah. that shit was like. Bro, you know you know what's one of the biggest examples of that shit is I remember one time, um, I bought a pair of like Raiders color uh, bla- uh Nike blazers, mm-hmm. and I remember I, I went to school with them. Whatever, me too. And then someone was like, like, yo, who's rocking blazers? And I did, bro. I had the freshest come out. I was like, me. Yo, hey. I, I you said that? that? Yo, and that person was like, like Oh, bro? They made that face, and I was like, <laughs> I, I was That, that, that was your day? Yeah. It was, it was, was certain like, blazers, though. Yeah. yeah it yeah. was certain blazers. Like, and now I still see certain blazers. Yeah, like, no, blazers like, like the retro ones. Back, yeah. Like retro ones. And I was like, bro. Nah, that's, that's that's it's kind of true what you said. Like, uh, like people were, like, you, everybody would just stick to the same shit. Yeah, exactly. And, like, that's why, like, I was kind of, like, I, I didn't like doing that shit. Like, you, you guys said the big fucking polo. Like I did have because mm-hmm. I did own them because I would. So the way that I would break it down, it was like I had my regular people clothes, which was like the clothes that everybody else was wearing. But then I had the clothes that I actually like. Yeah. So that's like the me when I was wearing like the Supreme, the Bape back in the days. And like, I, I kid you not, I was literally the only kid in Miami High. Like whoever fucking went to Miami High, y'all could suck my dick because I was the only <laughs> fucking kid. <laughs> So shit. <laughs> 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 nah, gee, shit. I was the only one with it, and um, but I'm so mad that 
I was I I knew I was supposed to win best dressed in high school, but the girl, the, hear me out, hear me out. The girl that I think her name was Grace. The girl, she was like the one that ran everything. She didn't know how to she didn't know how to spell my name, so she didn't put me in the in the tally like to That's run. No and way. I was like, <laughs> bro. If it wasn't for my name, I probably would have gotten it. The, you know the what's crazy? The kid that won it, he was actually like, "Damn, I feel like I don't deserve this," and he gave me the shit. <laughs> no way! I swear to God. But yeah, he didn't make it public though. Nah, he just told it to. Nah, them. it's all good as long as yeah. you got that. Uncrown nah, make King, it public bro. now. Uncrown. Yeah, make Where it, are you at? Uncrown King. <laughs> you owe me, yo, me a trophy. Yeah, shout out Carlos. That's my boy. Oh, that was him. Yeah, yeah, that was oh, him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro, and especially back then, like recognition was everything. So the yeah. fact that he's like, "Yo, now nah, you, you, you got that. It's you, yeah." Damn, we want best dressed in game. Different vibe. What I was gonna tell you was, I think this is a perfect time to start getting into the, um, the how you're inspired by artists and shit like that. This is something we ask everybody that comes on with us and stuff. Yeah, your top five artists, personally, of all time, yeah. for you though, for you, oh, yeah. of all time, does it? I have different because of genres. It doesn't have to be music. Hey, we could do both genres. You yeah. want to do Spanish and English? Yeah. Top five for each? Yeah. Oh, we could do that. Uh, okay, okay. Because I have my own top five of for each. All too. time or currently? No, for you, all uh, time. Yeah, all time. all time. I mean, it could, it could be someone now, too, if you want, we'll, like, in we, that top we'll, five. We'll talk current because we usually always do anyway. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think top five, all time for you is a good way to gauge someone's, like, upbringing taste. You get me? Uh, the background we, to the are question. we only doing music? Cause, or artists? You said artists. Yeah, like musical. I mean, music artists. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't what we usually talk about. No, that's a very good question. Ooh, let's do yeah, music. It could be, it could be like because Virgil. Let's Virgil's not an artist. Let's do no, no, hold on. Let's do music. So. Let's do music, and then we can talk about like designers. Exactly. Okay, right, okay, perfect. okay. Uh, English. Music wise, English like um, only rap or general. No, nah, whatever you no, want. Whatever you want. Sheesh. Uh, for sure, top one Drake. Fucking love that man. Okay. <laughs> He's a go. Uh, I fuck heavy with uh, OGZ from Shoreline Mafia. Love them. Wow. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, three more. Three more. There's this guy that he makes some um, alternative music. His name is Gus Dapperton. So fucking fire. I fuck with him too. Kevin's gonna like that one. <laughs> um. Yeah. He makes like like very like melodic music. Uh, Wait. Did he make a, he made a couple of songs with the, with the weekend? Nah. Is that the same guy I'm thinking about? No, no, no. No, no, no. That's not oh, him. <laughs> I know. I know. He, yeah, 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 no, no, no. It's, it's some other. He's like a, a white boy okay. with like funny ass cuts, but he he snaps. Um, fourth, there's. I'm I'm gonna say like what I'm rocking with right now because no big deal, no big deal. There's this guy that I'm really rocking with. His name is Bash for the World. He's Mexican. Um, he's from Texas. He hard as fuck. Uh, then somebody that like like I would say old school. I really like Tupac, Fire as Fuck, um, and Wu Tang Clan. I really like Wu Tang Clan because of not like I obviously their music was hard, but even how they branded themselves, I really yeah. fucking like that shit. Method Man, I bro. See I always that. look yeah, at him, bro. I like, see that. Yeah, that yeah. guy. Like all I the see that. like I was really big. Like I, I I went into this like little stage where I was really into like the nineties, like like how they dressed and all this shit. Like, but obviously I wasn't dressing like them, but I was getting inspo from them. Like, right, I, right, right. Like everything was so fucking cool back then, but yeah, um, Spanish. Come on, bro, Bad Bunny number one. <laughs> Yo, I, tell you. Yeah. I feel like Bad Bunny and Drake are the same person in their yeah, worlds. Yeah, so. true. So. Uh, Ra I'm rocking with Raúl Ra Ra Alejandro right now. Heavy. It's not bad. That's good too. Um, I like. I don't know if you guys know him, Lenny Tavares. Yeah, yeah. I like Lenny yeah, Tavares. Yeah. Uh, Spanish, 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 Spanish. Damn. Uh, Lenny's, Lenny, I don't want to say Lenny's underground, but he's not too recognized. You know what's crazy? So I like that he's you, been for a while. He used to be in a, he was in a duo back in the days. He's in all those songs that we like, that we just don't, facts. you know when you listen to a song and you know the lyrics, but you're like, who the, f I, I don't know. <laughs> it's who like, it's like seven guy. artists on one song. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's exact, right. Yeah. Yeah. Lenny's Yo, on. Um, your best friend's going to be mad if you don't mention uh, uh, Mike Towers, dog. You don't fuck with Mike Towers? He's cool. I, I, I like him. Uh, Is he in your five though? Is that your five? I I like him, but that the last album that he dropped really wasn't so much for me. Like I know he that's okay. what that's what he likes, but for me, I, I I like I like more his commercial shit. You know, I'm being honest. But Hold on, so okay, Bad Bunny, Rao, Lenny. Oh yeah, your last Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. Oh fuck! Yeah, you like melodic shit, bro. Yeah. You really, you really do. You're big on sound. You in the zone, You're big yeah. on sound. Damn, let me check my phone. You're big on sound. Yo, Raul's bro, live, though. I, I, me and Andy were talking about this uh, outside the club the other day because I was like, bro, honestly, if Bad Bunny wasn't around, I honestly 
generally believe that Mike Towers would be number one, bro. Right, like now? he's number one trap, like Spanish rap and stuff like that. And then because his commercial shit is actually pretty good too. Oh, I fuck with Sesh too. Sesh hard. Oh, good Sesh pick. hard. I like that. Um, good pick. And like you know, more of the than bullshit. I fucking love Bulin. He's funny. Stop. Stop. <laughs> that was a hard pick. Hey, a hard I didn't pick. even know you knew about that. Hell yeah. I, I'm glad you threw in uh, <laughs> all the bones. That's how you be looking. That's how you be walking. Hey, hey, nah, he's funny. A lot hitter. You did that a little too good. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Nah, Have you seen yeah. his videos though? He, yeah. but who's gonna try him? His big ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I see some. I, I see some shit on Twitter that they like. Um, Dominicans really be like this, but they really be the shooter. I believe that. Yo, not. I wouldn't try Bulin. <laughs> Why? If he did that dance in front of me, I'd be like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna sit there and try him? Like, yo, what's up with you, sus ass? <laughs> I, I, that same moment he'll snap on you. I feel like he'll whack you. Yeah, bro. Nah, I, 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 I love Spanish music, bro. Yeah. All right. The designers, the artists. Yeah. Designers. I know you mentioned a few in the middle of the episode, but. Mm. Uh, for show, sure, Nigo, number one. Um, Number two, right now, I'm really rocking with um Teddy Santos. He's the he's the designer of Aim Leon Door. And New Balance just made him the creative director of them. So he's doing the yeah. new um 99 some shit for them. Uh, okay, that's number two. I fuck with Virgil. Virgil, Virgil's pretty hard. Mm. I like how he's given like hope to a, a lot of like the kids, like you know, a lot of younger people like that. You could fucking do. Yeah, you're really up to date. With yeah. The, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, Virgil. Let me see who else. Who else? Sheesh. Oh, um, Zach from FTP. He's a beast. Uh, damn. Let me see for the last one. Top five. Top five. Uh, Fuck Kanye. <laughs> I, I don't know. Kanye's whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, maybe his old shit, like when he was doing like Louis Vuitton, yeah. Louis Vuitton, whatever. That shit was kind of. I mean, he, I don't know, but he 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 made Adidas what Adidas is today. Oh no, for sure, definitely. Um, damn. Let me see. I I know I, I know. Last spot is tough. I gotta agree with you. I I, I, I wanted to argue with you right now, but I can't. So. Oh uh, shit! I forgot. Um. Ruji from Rude. Rude, yes. Sheesh, so, that man is the go. I look up Rude to him, bro. Right yes, now, but I really look up to to Ruji, like how he moves, like everything. I I I love him. Yeah, I don't know how I, he's probably my top one. Have you have you ever met a designer and artist and and had like a little at any event you ever pulled up to or anything like that? I heard a rumor you went you traveled somewhere for an event, like a fashion show or something like that. Nah, never. No, never, never, never. never. But yeah, they lied to you. My little brother, fuck ass. <laughs> um, I uh, set me up, bro. Well, <laughs> I met Eric Emanuel. Do you, you guys, yeah, yeah, friend? oh yeah, okay, yeah. That I, guy is the hardest to get his shorts, bro. Like, <laughs> if you don't get there, the first five minutes you're done, bro. I don't know. Um, besides that, uh, nah, I've never met no famous. That's an. I feel like, like. I'm making my own wave, but I'm not like so tapped in with anybody in the industry. Like, I don't know shit. I don't know anybody, you know. So like, I feel like that's just gonna happen when it's meant to happen. Yeah. But like, I felt like to the level that I'm at that I should have already happened. But fuck it, you know, whatever. It, it is what it is. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, it's literally. coming, bro. Yeah, we've we've Time learned until. from right, a few people that. that. I'm gonna see this <laughs> Now that's why I'm actually I was I was gonna t say this like when when we started I'm actually like thankful that you guys had me on because um obviously you guys are up and coming I'm up and coming so like in the day of tomorrow you know both of us we get big as fuck this, this is gonna be a classic it's gonna is be exactly yeah. this yes, is bro. exactly what Appreciate we say that. about yeah. everybody we've yeah. spoken to yeah because like for sure yeah, yeah. and like me I've never like I've gotten invited to do like interviews before but like. I've never done it because I, I feel like I'm not going to feel comfortable with people, but I feel comfortable with you guys. So that's why like when you told me, I'm like, for sure, I'm down. Are we the first official setting? Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Fire. Yeah. We, keep, Fire. We keep getting that. Know, this is yeah. good. Yeah. That, like, is, that's why exactly why like, I'm like, oh, I'm thankful, you know? Yeah, because yeah, we don't have like, we don't even have 500 one thing, followers or anything like that. But like, like one that, thing we always try to push is like, we want to put like Miami people on, bro. Because like that's the like whole- That's our first episode where like, we talked about is Miami toxic? And we're like, super. we want to be yeah, the We want to put yeah. them right. on. Because like, that's why, like what you said earlier about like, Especially when it comes, that's why I've always messed with him, bro. Because he's Hispanic and Central American. I don't know. I don't know if you guys realize how hard it really is for like 
Central American yeah. kids to like really really make it in in not just fashion but just anything, bro. Like, yeah, like it's I mean, you, like, when's the last time you saw like a Central American athlete like big time? You feel me? The only time, like only, Lopez? yeah, but like he's barely known. Hey, like that. Boy, he yeah, it. facts yeah. exactly. So like that's why I've always like I've always supported and stuff like that because. I want to see like me. I have like a very like prideful thing like I because I, I'm Honduran and Colombian, but I I was raised with my mother, so I'm really more Honduran. Oh, take that shirt so, off right now! Take that shirt yeah. off. Right yeah. off. Yeah. No, I know it's kind of crazy. Rip the I'm fucking badge right off right now. now. Put a two rags badge on. Oh my god! It's, be, it's because the yeah, team yeah. is harder. Yeah, just give you an idea. If you can make the soccer patches on on, on soccer shirts, that would be high. Hun- Hun- Honduran yeah. soccer jerseys are ass. I hate them, but no, no, you know what jersey I want? This is we're going left field now. Fuck it, costly. I need a costly fucking oh, the yeah. number. I need the number thirteen shirt. Uh, say, bro, I say, yeah. I got everything for my mom, but this jersey's for my dad. That's it. That's yeah, all hey, nah, actually, That's where you get up. World Cup, bro. You got an idea right there. As well. So, so, World Cup, hit me up. I got another idea for you, but we're going to say that off camera. <laughs> but yeah, just to wrap, up, wrap that up, like, I'm just, whenever I see someone, like, whenever I see anybody, you know, succeeding, I get happy. But when it's, like, someone from, like, my background and stuff like that, I just. Nah, I same, speak. same. That's exactly what I was saying. Like, you know, like, I take pride in being, like, a, a Hispanic kid, like, doing this shit because. It's something that's not driven by a fucking Hispanic person. Yeah, like I, yeah. I, uh, I like that you're it's not like, too subtle. Cause you're a humble guy, which thank you, uh, and kudos to you and shit. But you're also very, um, how do I say? Like you have like swag flavor. You're not, yeah. you're not like too loud. Yeah. But you're also very humble. Like and it's, it's, it's good balance. It's hard because like how you were saying like your dad was like if like kind of more iffy. It's because like I feel like most Hispanic like households, they if it's not like a nine to five. Like they look they at it as like, it. like you're being what's bummed, going on right like, yeah. like what are you doing with your life this is and that so yeah I've always felt like like I don't know like there's gonna be one person that they're gonna be like bro just fuck, hating fuck this kid I'm gonna shoot him no. I feel some hating shit I told him to save me a hat <laughs> 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 it might be my boy over here. <laughs> I really wanted that hat <laughs> I really you wanted it. yeah <laughs> you need security. <laughs> Huh? We need what security. You you gonna need security. Yeah, all he so. had to do was give me the hat. <laughs> we wouldn't have been here. That's gonna be on, the, on, on trial. All he had to do was give me the hat. That's it, bro. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna start wrapping it up. So we want to ask you: Do you have any questions for us, or if there's anything you want to plug? Yeah, be, you plug be, you. Besides uh podcasting, what else do you guys want to do? Mm. Good I, question. Mm. I know, I know, I know. Individually, we all have like career goals and stuff yeah. like that. The, the what makes us unique is the fact that we're all different in our own way. We mesh well as boys and we can talk about a lot of different things, but we each have a different career like, path. Like, career path that that we went to school for and shit like that. So, I know that's still in the works for each of us yeah. individually, but as a group, as can a, we even say it or not? Nah? What? <laughs> the the, the event? Right yeah, just say it. Okay. We can, all right. We were. No, we so, can cut it out, but let's tell them. Let's tell okay. Them. So, basically we we, we plan on we had a goal of, at the end of the year doing a live event. Okay. Right? So there's other, there's other places that they do like live podcasts. Oh, shit. So, like with a crowd. Yeah. Oh, that's so hard. So it's like, so tickets, and it's kind of like a comedy show, but it's a live podcast, and the audience is in it. Like Yeah, because at the end of the day, like podcasts are entertaining. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Like, watch, wa- like watching them. Yeah. And it's like a big thing where like podcasts, they go on the road, they go on the road, they do, they do tours. They do tours and shit, yeah. But, I mean, obviously, like, we're not that big yet. Yeah. But we're, like, yo, like, we're low-key. Like, we're, we're starting to get some, like... Some traction. Like, traction. calling up or, or, or DMing, like, yo, that show's fire or whatever. More trends, and yeah. even, if it's a, even, even if it's a lie, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, yeah. Like, <laughs> the message is there, bro. Yeah. Like, like, yo, if you comment, even, yo, that's trash, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's still engagement. I don't give a fuck, like... You know what's some I crazy... Free now. Some crazy shit about that? Like, this is, this is like, my view on, um, on LA. Because, uh, like... I know you, you, you. One of you guys has said that Miami is toxic, yeah. so I feel like making out of, out of Miami is way harder because, pe- like, people come back here when they're already established. Like, you see all these artists; they come back here when they're established. Mm-hmm. So, like, right now, like, making it out of Miami, I feel like it's kind of hard. Which <clears> is also like, I'm planning to on going to LA for like two months and just staying over there. And just like locking in and working, like you, just you should, and, yeah. you, and you'd actually have more success than yeah. people that are based out of there. Exactly, and that's what I think too. Because um, I had this conversation with one of my boys. He makes music, which was one guy that I was going to tell you that you guys should definitely tap in with. His name is Product. He's coming out of like uh, Ivis States, like Aventura. Mm-hmm. He's fucking amazing like he can rap but he can sing and he can do a lot of shit he's so fire 
I'm gonna definitely show y'all some of his unreleased yeah. shit. Yeah. Why not? Why way, not bro. New York though? Huh? Isn't New York like the fashion mecca? Uh, I feel like yes, but like the thing about it is that this was what me and him were talking about is that in LA, people is seen. Well, I was only there for like three days, but I got the whole vibe that bro, there was like literally like ten people asking me like I was wearing the full zip hoodie and they're like, "Yo, what brand is that?" And then I'm like, "Oh, I made it." And they're like, "Yo, let me get your Instagram." Blah, blah, blah. Which in Miami. People yeah, would yeah. see you wearing it, and they'll be, they'll probably be like, "Yo, that shit's cool to their yeah, homeboy," yeah. but, but they, they won't tell you. But they're, they they're not gonna you. show yeah, love bro. to you and Facts. shit. So like, that just shows you how over there in LA, like people are more open to the creatives and like to like like you said, like maybe they're they're, sh- they're showing love, but it could be fake. But at the end of the day, they're still gonna rock with you because you might be the next motherfucker that makes it. You feel True. me? Yeah. While over here, they're already. They're already writing you off. They're already like, no, you're not going to make it. No, yeah. you're not going to make it. So, you know, that's but kind of... because they haven't seen nobody do it like that. Yeah, exactly. That's where, that's where like, a brand like you or even, like, in in, a, in different, like, um, I guess, avenues. Like, for example, also the podcast could be one. Yeah. Or, like, somebody that has, that has always wanted to start a podcast, like, oh, shit, they did it, and mm. they started from here. From... Of, of a fashion brand. Oh, he did it, and he started from here. Yeah. Like, I, I, I was also very gonna... important is, like, the representation, like... Mm-hmm. Yo, okay, that, that, that is cool. I was also going to add um, A lot of people Especially myself When you buy into a product or a brand Sometimes it's not even so much the product or the brand Even though it's it the is person. It's, the person. it's the story mm-hmm. and the person um, yeah. And I, I feel like you would You blend into LA pretty easy Yeah, yeah, yeah Actually yeah, yeah. Like you have that swag low key Even the brand too And now I think about it And there's some people I know with it. Like I know you had asked me about a uh, collab There's this kid that he uh, actually wants to uh, collab I, th- I think Bakersfield, I don't think it's in LA, but he's like somewhere in California. Shout out to him. His name is uh, Sixel. Um, he's been wanting to collab with me and, you know, I want to make it happen too, but I feel like it's hard because we're both on different schedules. So maybe yeah. if I'm over there in Cali, like, you know, I could take a Uber and, you know, meet him up wherever the fuck he's at. But, uh, I mean, I guess to answer your question though, like for me personally, um, I, I go to school for advertising. I, yeah. I'm a writer. Um, okay. But also, like, I... It's crazy because doing this, I was like, yo, like, if I can make it to where, like, I live off of this, I'm yeah. super happy off of it. Yeah, for sure. Like, Lately, like... The process to me, even the process was to me, could be tedious, I'm like, I, I enjoy it. I, yeah, I feel like, like we can... Uh, I'm sorry, cut you out, Brandon, but just to, just so, like, you had asked that question, like, what do we see ourselves? More content, bro. Anything. Blogging to, like, fucking... It's really scaling up right now. To, to even, modeling, uh, even modeling uh, our own merch or your merch or whoever's merch. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Uh, we can, the last month... For me, it's been more like, damn, bro, like, I actually, like, really enjoy doing this. Like, because me, like, I've always been, like, I'm going to get my four-year degree and I'm going to get the, the one job that I've talked about in here before. Like, I've always wanted to be a cop. Okay. But lately, just doing all this is, like, and seeing the process of it and meeting the people we've met lately, like, it's just, it's opened my mind up to, like, damn, like, Different do I really want to do that. You feel me? Like, it's yeah. just, like. Well, I, I had a, um, sorry, I cut you off again. This is our brand. Yeah, y'all yeah, been cutting yeah. me off all the whole <laughs> fucking episode, bro. Ain't not rocking with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro you nah, know what, take that fucking shirt <laughs> off, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. You know what? Jesus Christ. Yo, I, I was editing the pod the other day, and it was like, bro, it had to be like legit, like probably like 3 a.m. And I was editing the pod, and I was like, yo, you know, I if if you told me like, like pretty much like, like if I if I won the lottery, right? You about to cry? I don't know. <laughs> if, I, if I won the lottery, and oh I was yeah, set for life. I would still be doing this. Yes, I've and yeah, I've said this multiple like, times. Yo, I just love it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, facts. And I feel like that's why, like, if you get something like that, you gotta stick to that shit. Yeah, same. If I win the lottery, I'm still doing the brand. Like, like, so I'm just dumping that bread into this. Money. Yeah, like it's just I'll so bar stools. If you because you said you said New Balance was yeah. like. Was, Bro, if Barstool was to see this shit and they saw the potential and they came calling, bro, I'm telling you, I'm <laughs> selling out. <laughs> I'm selling out, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Wait, like so you the, so you originally wanted to be a cop? Yeah, I, still, I, I, I like I'm still on that path, but like you know, it's so hard with COVID and shit like that. Like they're not really hiring, yeah. so it's just like uh, lately I've just been like, yo, like this is what, not something I've looked at. What would you do if you like you you have a friend that and they're doing bad shit? Would you arrest them? Oh, that's a good nah, question. Bro. You snitching or not? Nah? <laughs> snitching? Yo, we gotta know right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Put the light on him. What are you doing? Nah, chill, bro. Like, nah. I mean, like, if I'm on the job, nah, you know, you know, what? I'm on the job, bro. Like, that's a different story. You know what I mean? But like, oh, if I'm, you talk about like off duty. 
Like if I'm off duty, if I'm on the I'm Post. on the job. If I'm on the job, bro, I'm gonna have to do what I have to do. You feel me? Like if you, if it's like <laughs> brightest day, like I'm not go, I'm not gonna go out. Like if one of my boys is doing some shit, I'm not gonna go out of my way. Like yo, this S A E. Like I'm not. You feel me? But like off duty and shit like that. No, nah, you giving just, warnings or nah? I'll do that. Just be like yo. Just, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> hey, we're, we're getting talking. to the nitty gritty right now. I know. Yeah, I know. I like <laughs> no, look, if we as friends though, I don't think we'd put you in that position. Like, I let's, say, like let's say I was the drug dealer, I would make sure you're not even in the room when shit like you that. Me goes like, down. Oh, I, yeah. I wouldn't try to. I'm definitely uh, testing him. Put you in the bad position. But nah, I mean, off duty, bro. Like, I'm my, none of my boys doing stupid shit. So like, if you, if you talk about like drugs or something, nah. Cause my my sister's um fiance he wanted to become a cop too and I asked him the same shit cause um not to like put allegedly I used to scam mm -hmm. back in the day so I would <laughs> <laughs> I would I would show him like like the shit that I used to do yeah and I would be like if you were like to you know become a cop would you arrest me <laughs> motherfucker said no so no? I was like right, that's my boy. <laughs> Like, yeah, That's yeah, my dog. Like, no, no that. crooked cop yeah. shit. Nah, but I don't like if I'm if I'm on duty and shit like that, bro. That's, that's different. So you gonna kick me like out if it was clearly like, bro, I gotta do something. Then, yeah, bro, I'm gonna have to do it. But <laughs> I'm gonna do it, but I'm like, yo, I'm coming now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if it's super open, I'm call he calls you head. Yo, I'm coming. But but <laughs> but, like, but, <laughs> but off duty, bro. Like I'm not on the job, bro. So like like, my, like, 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 like you know how he has his computer right there. What yeah. if he's he's like shopping shopping right now with a whole bunch of like other people's credit, credit card shits. <laughs> Shit, if it's yeah, for the pod, hey, my yeah, dog got mad credit, bro. Like, that's all his <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? I'm if it's for the pod, it's good. Can't see the screen. Yeah, yeah but, uh, I don't know, bro. I don't. Maybe he has good credit. He has all his credit cards. You said. I like. I like the way you think. <laughs> I know, bro. <laughs> bro, no, yeah, we, man. We can go an hour more, bro. Facts. Uh, yeah, wait, we're getting kicked so out. Yeah. Just say how it is. True. I'm having a good time, bro. I like what you said, though. As we as we both develop, like in your future drops and shit like that, we would definitely love to have you back on and just kind of keep keep just keep updating. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm I'm definitely having a good time. I fuck with this shit. Thank so you for you coming, bro. Go? Yeah, true. Brand, uh, Plug in the IGs. So, oh shit! Another thing, I I didn't ever, I didn't tell you. I I didn't want to say this. So like another thing that I want to do in the future is um, I want to design jewelry. That's for sure. I want to design jewelry. Um, maybe it doesn't have to do with the brand, but I do want to design jewelry. Like for sure, I'm putting like that it. out. I'm manifesting. I was gonna tell that. you the ring is fresh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. And besides that, I actually wanna get into like the I wanna I wanna learn how to produce. Like I don't I don't I want I like I like being behind the scenes. So like I don't necessarily have to like know how to make beats or whatever, but I want to be able to like to help artists like, you know, maybe like come up for a theme for a song or like, you know, maybe even having like beat selection, me melodies or drums. Like I I right now, like right now, speaking as of right now, I can't take my time out of the direct shit to like focus on learning how to make beats or learning how to make shit like that but like later on in life i do want to work with um with artists yes with artists because i watch a lot of um interviews on art, like music musicians and shit and i take in, like obviously we're not in the same field but um they complement each other yeah so i learn a lot from them as well so like even just seeing that i want to work with like artists too like they could be up and coming. They could be big, whatever it is. But I, I, I do want to. Um, you see yourself embarking into the, no, the, the music. music industry. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Like kind of like you know how Pharrell did it. He yeah. Yes. Just like that, and um, I mean to wrap it up. Yeah. Anything you want to plug? Uh, IG, Twitter, anything? Definitely, definitely mention the drop. X. I. I mean the drops sold out already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or drops. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have new shit soon. Well, we'll, we'll put it on our Instagram. Too. Um, but for sure, like I'm putting this out there, and it's not like me coming off as being um egotistic or I think narcissist. Or or yeah, or arrogant narcissist or not. But um, I'm like I'm I'm saying this because I believe in myself, and I'm gonna be like the best brand coming out of Miami. Like, no disrespect to anybody else. Like, you know, like, everybody could do their own thing. Yeah. But me, personally, I feel like I'm going to be the best shit coming out of here. And I'm not going to... Like yeah, yeah. And I'm not going to stop until 
I feel like I'm there. And even when I'm there, I feel like I'm going to keep on going. Like, like I always say, do what you want to do. Follow what you want to do. But I feel like nobody's going to be on my level on this shit, especially coming out of Miami, Talk especially being way. a fucking, you know, uh, Hispanic kid. Like, I'm going to take this shit to a whole nother level. Like, I'm so to focused right moon. now. Yeah. Hey, so happy that Until, yeah, know, you got bro. me hyped now. Hell yeah. 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 Uh, Parents Fashion Week, we out there. I'm about, yeah. to, rip, I'm about to rip that shirt off of Brandon right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah. Yo. Right, Yo, bro. hey, thank you for that, dog. Right. Thank, thank you, bro. You. Thank you. I, I love people talking their shit and like, cause it, it's true. It's not. It's Back not like that a, up, bro. It's not no, an for real. Physical thing. It's just like I believe myself that much. Oh, exactly. You spoken into existence. People like McGregor do that all the time. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, and I and I hope you guys like level the fuck up. Thank you, well. bro. Thank, like, you bro. thank you, bro. Coming out of that. Miami, I really do hope you guys yeah. become like a big fucking platform for people. Like, and I like how you guys are not just going in the route of just some um, like artists. Like, you know, you said mental health, you said fitness. Yeah. That's hard. Like, you know, like once you show variety. People are eventually yeah. you're yeah. gonna have someone that likes fitness. They're gonna watch the episode. They're like, damn, let me tap into whatever else they have, and then yeah. boom. Yeah. Exactly. There's the subcategories to that. Exactly. Then they obviously bigger audience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, like, wish you guys the best as well. Thank Appreciate you, bro. That, bro. Appreciate Thank you, that. Dog. Welcome. Sure. Solid episode. Love you guys. Uh -huh.